guys, what's up? It's iJevin. How is everybody doing? Welcome to the one year iJevin Plays Minecraft video challenge. That's right. Today is episode one. Every single day, we will be posting a video of iJevin Plays Minecraft. You guys know the deal. You know the deal. I just realized I'm still a snowman. I'm living the life of a snowman. I don't even care. I don't even care. I was like, YOLO. It doesn't even matter. Anyways, guys, um, I will change that for next episode, but we should probably go ahead and get started. So last episode, guys, we put that horrendous looking solar panel in. That thing was freaking terrible. I will not be keeping that there. I'm going to move that. Also, this could have not grown more perfect. It looks so good. Uh, trees over here still need to grow a tiny bit, but other than that, that looks good. Uh, we're going to go and grab some wood really quickly. We're going to put our own solar light in because I really want to start working on the village more. We uh, we got a lot done and then we just kind of stopped, you know? And that's not cool. So what I'm looking for is wood. Sandstone. I don't know if I have any uh, birch wood left. Do I not have it? Oh, there's 36. There's a little bit. Is that birch? No, it's hard to tell with this texture pack. Anyways, let's break that down. There we go. So I'm going to be putting our solar panel over here. It's going to be sort of like its own little feature, I think. Uh, so let's get rid of this. And I'm thinking like right here. Uh, all right, so I want to terraform the land just a tiny bit. Um... I picked the. I should have like when I was like planning the village out. I should have picked a better spot for it, but I guess it doesn't really matter because these things are so big. By the way, if you look at an aerial view of our world, our village is like so much bigger than anybody else's village. It's awesome. In your face, Minecraft! Your villages suck. Mine's way better. Okay, there we go. That's a little better. Uh, let's get rid of all the good greenery here. That should do it, and, um, oh, you know what, I just realized that's not even. Maybe we should put it on this side instead, then, because the solar panel is going to need to sit in the middle, so I'm thinking we'll give it one spot, like that, right there, and then we'll use probably half slabs to go around it, what do you guys, what do you guys think? Yeah, I think that'll be okay. Uh, let's get some wood and some slab runes here. There we go. Yeah, so, because I want to start, like, villager breeding and stuff. Um, just so we can populate this area. And so we can't do anything until that fence is, like, loaded, you know? Uh, alright, so this would go... Just like so. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to do an actual five spot around this just because I think it would look better. There we go. Something like that, I think. Let's see how that looks. Oh, yeah. Guys, I'm so pumped for this challenge, dude. I'm just so ready to, like, you know, be awesome. <laughs> uh, not to mention, I, uh, I have sent Skype messages out about planning. You guys, uh, it was like an overwhelming number of you like survival games. Pretty much more than anything else, so... Uh, there was a couple other games that you guys liked, but for the most part, it was survival games. You guys were, like, a huge fan of that. Now, the the spruce looks okay. Or, the birch looks okay. It all blends very well. That's not exactly what I'm looking for. I was kind of looking for, you know, something that was going to make it look fancy. Uh, what, other, what other blocks do we have over here? I might even try... Um... Let's try those. Get some more of that. And we don't really have many slabs. We have oak slabs. Oak slabs. Alright, let me, uh, because that's not going to be enough. Okay, let's try these. Let's try these. All right, yeah, I just want something that's going to, like, offset that texture. Because that was a little bit uh, too sprucey for me. Or too birchy for me. There we go. And what I'm thinking is possibly moving... Can we move this up one and still be okay? I don't know how the math works with this, but there we go. Um, oh, you know what we, we could possibly do to even make this look even better? We could give this, like, a raised platform, right? Let's, uh, let's do that with oak, though. And we'll try stairs. I'm gonna try oak stairs. I promise I'm not gonna spend much time on this, because, like I said, 
With me recording a video every day, I need to get ahead in videos, which means I don't have a lot of time to record them. There we go. I'm okay with that. I actually really like that. I think that looks really nice. It's like a little pyramid, and then like this is the power for the whole village. I'm okay with that. I, I really, I think that's cool. So what we gotta do next is we gotta like, we gotta like run the redstone over here somehow. I'm not sure how I'm gonna go about doing that yet, but um, so we've got our, we've got our thing done. I actually wanna start villager breeding now. Now, I have only heard of the ways to do this. I've actually never done this since villager breeding has been updated yet. Now, I'm just assuming that... Can I just throw carrots in there? Or does it need to be, like, bread? Okay, so one guy consumed it. Maybe it does need to be bread. Like I said, I've never done this before, guys. I have no idea. Okay, so nobody picked that one up yet. Let's try it again. Uh, um, all right, I think I'm going to have to actually look it up. I thought I could use carrots, but I guess not. Okay, so I was way off. Holy crap. So we actually got to either give these guys enough food to become willing to like, you know, ow. <laughs> or we can trade with each one of these guys and unlock one trade. And if we unlock one trade, th that means they will become willing enough to uh, do the deed. So 11 leather and some paper. I might have that. I don't know. We should probably check. I might have to cut real fast just to check, but I know I have the paper. The paper is not the issue. I just don't know if I have the leather or not. Uh, I thought I killed a bunch of cows. There we go. But, so we have both of those. Okay, so let's do this. So technically by trading... Actually, you know what we should probably do first? There needs to be doors... Um, like a valid number of doors in the area for them to be willing to breed. So I'm thinking that if we do it like this... So that would count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's got to be more than enough to trade, dude. Uh, I don't know if they need direct sunlight, though, is the only thing. Um, I might give that to them anyways. I'm going to sleep, I think, because, yeah, it's almost nighttime. Um, so, yeah, if we could just get a couple, like, a couple of these guys to breed, that would save us a huge amount, a huge amount of trouble. Uh, bed... Go ahead and get our sleep on. There's monsters nearby. Oh, I'm like, wait, what? What you talking about, Willis? All right, daytime again. Uh, let's go ahead and do direct sunlight. We'll just open up all this. There we go. More than enough room. And I also want to... Uh, I don't know... I just wanted to fill that in. Okay. So, technically speaking, if I do that, and he has a new trait available. This guy already has a new trait available. Power. All right. Uh, actually, he needs to have another trait available. Okay, so now he's she should be willing. Let's do... Oh, I'm short paper. No. Do I have any more sugar cane? Uh, we might have to go grab a couple pieces of sugar cane then. Yeah, we've got sugar cane going over, growing over here. Yeah, once both of them have, uh, according to this, once um, villagers uh, villagers uh, become willing when they trade with the player, willingness is granted after the first new offer in their inventory is open. Um, hold on, what what exactly did it say? Did I get enough? Uh, throw those down. So yeah, willingness is granted the first time a new offer is traded. Okay. Oh, a new offer is traded. So I might have to do that new trade then. All right. So let me uh, get a little bit more paper there. There we go. All right. So can we do that new trade with this guy then? So ten emeralds. Wow. I can't do that. Um, we might have to go the food route then. Anyways, I'm gonna try, uh, I need 
to get this guy. I'm gonna try it anyways, just to see. 29 paper, there we go. So, I'm not sure if these guys are gonna be willing or not. Uh, we'll just, oh, no, 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 we're good, we're good. I'm gonna go ahead and block this up because I don't want my baby escaping. There we go. Now, these guys should have like a 10 minute cooldown. Did we get a baby? Hmm. I don't see a baby. Maybe I messed it up with putting that block overhead. They were both feeling jazzy. I don't know, man. Alright, well, we clearly know the process to doing this, so... Uh, the only other thing that you should probably know is that villagers can become willing by either having 3 bread, 12 carrots, or 12 potatoes. Um... Oh no, he's still going. Okay, yeah, there should definitely be a baby coming out of there in a second. <laughs> well, look at this guy. He just like did triple hearts. They yeah, he was he's like, let's get it on. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> I'm trying to just read to see if there's anything else. I don't see anything else. Okay, um I just I don't want to cover it back up because I know that they need direct sunlight sometimes. Let's see if we have any glass. Put some of that stuff away. I just want—I just want a baby villager. I have three blue glass that'll work. Indeed. All right, so I'm just gonna cover these guys up then. Hopefully, they will eventually give us the babies. So did you guys breed yet? No? Fine! Don't breed! Either way, it's cool. Alright, let's go ahead and move on, guys. I was gathering material for the next part of the video, and I think we have a baby now. I hear a small guy! Yay! We got a baby! Awesome. Okay, so the next part of this, I actually want to build some more houses. Um, we gotta start building towards our limit over here. And, oh, I need food. Let me grab some tasty goodness. Uh, we'll do those. And those, because they're both cooked. I had golden carrots, but I don't know what happened to them. They just straight up disappeared. Okay. Uh, so I think right here is where we're going to put these houses. I'm also going to grab some birch. Is that all the birch that we had? Really? We only had one stack left. Let's say that seems a little off to me. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, our, our hill, uh, over top of the hill up here is where we have our um, our wall for this. Now, we can move that, obviously, if we want to. Uh, it's going to be hard to build up here and put anything up here and make it feel like it's a part of the village still. Um, so, the first thing that I want to do is I definitely want to terraform this area because, like, well, nobody really likes how far apart it is, so... By the way, guys, you guys gave me uh, great responses, by the way, uh, on the last video. Straw poll, the comments. Dude, you cannot believe how many awesome comments there were. Um, I, I don't know, just like... You ever just like, you ever just feel ready for something? Like, you're just ready to take anything on, you know? Like, you're like, let that challenge come at me, bro. Let it come at me. That's how I'm feeling right now, so... Alright, so let's go ahead and we're going to do a couple houses here. Uh, so the last houses that we built were those big ones down at the end of the row here. So I'm thinking we're going to do this setup right here. So uh, four, five, and four, all cobblestone bases. Yeah, all cobblestone bases. So let's do that. Grab our bed as well because it's almost nighttime. Almost nighttime. So I'm trying to think about the placement of these. I would like the doors to be on this side, but at the same time, I guess that'll be okay. So we'll do one block, two, three, four, and then I think it's uh, four by five. Yeah, I should have brought enough cobblestone. I hope that's okay. And then five by five, two, three, four, five. Oh, by the way, guys, I don't know if I ever mentioned this or not, but thank you guys for all the frickin' birthday wishes. Oh, my lord. There was, like, a zillion birthday wishes. 
Good God. <laughs> I, th I think I said thank you guys like 87 times on Twitter and Facebook. There we go. All right, and then we'll do another four spot. Two, three, four. And uh, so what I'm thinking was, you know, this, this border that we have right here, obviously that's very flexible. You know, we can move that anywhere we need to. So with that being said, I'm thinking that we might be good on this side for houses. Okay, so it's been a while since I built one of these. So three high, wood on top, and then, okay, that's not too bad. Uh, I'm hoping that I have enough of this oak right here because I don't have any more. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. Just like so. And then we need to go here. But yeah, so the reason why I keep putting like this design in is because they're easier to build. Um, I like these looks better than there is like another like design. But I feel like the other design is just not as good, you know? Um, all right, and then what's the other one look like? And plus, this gives us like seven or five doors every time. Cobblestone up the sides. Oh, that's really easy, actually. Cobblestone up the sides. So not every episode is obviously going to, you know, have to deal with, um, have to deal with the village, guys. Um, I know you guys are probably like, dude, I am so sick of this village on this plane. I was trying to Samuel L. Jackson there, but it didn't work. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm sure you guys are like, okay, Jevin, enough of the village crap. I'm done with the village. Don't worry, I have uh, I have been plotting, guys. Uh, over the past two weeks, I've been writing down ideas for what I want to do in this world, and I've got a list of uh, some things that I want to accomplish um, over these next episodes. And guys, no rush. We have got a lot of time here. Like, we have got, like, a whole year, so it should be fine. Three. One, two, three. Yeah, so um, I just like adding these in because, like, these are, like, houses that we can store doors in, you know? Like, for me, that's the easiest way to put it because, uh, like, if we do want to keep breeding and stuff and, like, eventually have tons of villagers and have this place just like hopping because that's the whole game plan you know is to have this place just flooded with villagers all of them like you know a hustle hustle and bustle of a real city so that's what i'm going for so i've got all that i just need to put the roofs in and the doors and finish up the pathway and i'll be right back okay guys so i've got the village the new village is done um we're pretty close to the border here uh there's still a little bit of wood i need to place over on this side i just filled it up just to have it finished but we're doing pretty good got out here all the way done we'll need to bone meal in there obviously just to make it look fancy i'm also thinking about blocking these areas off um with just fences or something because i don't want my villagers i mean like i feel like it would be safe if i you know if i use enough torches but at the same time i'm i'm not sure that i want to trust it enough you know so maybe we'll block off in between but that would be kind of hard so we'll see um, one thing I want to check real fast is let's run over to the, uh, to the iron farm here. We haven't been over there all video and we have been recording for quite a while now. I would like to see if it's been running this entire time or not. Uh, it's going to be awesome. I just like, I like seeing how much iron we get from it. It's exciting. Okay. So it's definitely been running. Remember last time we left off, it was halfway through that first chest. So, um, It'll be kind of cool to see how much iron we've gained in this video. We've probably been recording for about 40 minutes or so. Okay, so it's it's gained about two and a half more rows. That's awesome, because it was only about up here last time. So yeah, this thing is working pretty good. you got to remember, too, though, um, that is only the 32 version village uh, for the villager farm. Um, I thought 64 was kind of overkill for vanilla, and it looks like uh, I was right. So 32 is awesome. So that is going to do it, guys, for the first episode of 365 of these bad boys. I hope you guys all enjoyed yourself. I know I had a lot of, a lot of fun today, and the content is going to keep on rolling. Um... Yeah, I just saw a zombie over here. So, yeah, that's, that's the one thing I'm just worried about, you know, is zombies attacking my goods. But other than that, though, uh, you know, they, they, they accumulate pretty fast over here. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys all have a great day. 
This is Ijevin. Peace out.